I should have expected it, but even the villains in this show are so comical. The dual hand, one of the Demon King's vassals, show up. He was chilling in the abandoned castle. He was giving them peace. He was being such a respectful neighbor. And then what does Kazuma and Megumin do? They go to their house every day and nuke it. Man, he had all the right to show up and say, fuck off, dude. Just leave me alone. Stop harassing me. And even at the end, I think he was still being quite respectful. Now, we cure darkness of the spell. Could you imagine the dual hand is just waiting at home? It's like, what are they going to come over? Like, I, I, I invited them. What the fuck? I feel like that's something like that's going to happen for sure, right? Let's begin today's reaction, though. <laughs> the guild receptionist, man. I thought you know water should purify it. So she just goes into the lake or whatever and just puts her hand in there and it purifies? What's that cage? Why does she look like a prisoner right now? He said safely. Is he gonna drop this cage in the middle of the lake so that the alligators can't attack her? So she just sits there and just purifies the lake? I mean, that's, uh, that's, it would probably work. <laughs> oh, it's just a swamp. Ew. So we're just gonna wait here and she just sits there. Like, this looks fun. Alright, we're gonna go home now. Okay, I, I guess we have to stay around and reel the cage back in. <laughs> we are making Aqua stock! We can just pee in the lake. <laughs> Arc priest, don't poop or pee. That's kind of... Yeah. She could probably just take a piss in there though, right? <laughs> Doubt. Mm. I think she wants to get peed on, man. She's probably into that golden shower, man. If you don't know what golden shower is, do not Google it. That is, that is one kink fetish I just can't get into. I'm like, oh, this, oh, it, oh, that and scat. It's like, oh. <laughs> These girls are all just constipated. They don't shit. Danger? Uh-oh, here comes an alligator. But there's a cage. I don't think they could hurt you. <laughs> She's already so close to the land anyways. Oh, shit. Oh, this is actually good. There's an incentive for her to, you know, work harder. Oh, this is great. We should just leave her in more danger. <laughs> so she'll work harder. <laughs> this is kind of fucked, though. Well, it's, it's nice to, like, discipline Aqua here and there. Because I still hold a grudge from episode one of how much she... Yo. Is Darkness getting off on this? She's like, oh, I wish that was me. What is this ass? Is there panties? I think there isn't panties. Yo, it's actually breaking. It's actually breaking. That rock's not gonna hold it. Oh. Oh, uh, guys. Darkness, you freak. I love you. Okay, hey, she said half a day, you know, she finished like five hours early. Good job. Actually, the MVP is the cage. The cage did a great job. She seems a little mad. No, she's broken. She's mentally broken from the treatment. Are you okay? No, I'm not gonna have pity on you. You made fun of us in episode one. Hmm? Whoa. Whoa. What is this actual isekai? Oi! This is like the actual hero. This is what Kazuma wants to do. <laughs> it's like a dragon. <laughs> Saving girls. Look at this guy! Now he looks like a main character of an isekai series. Wait! Huh? He was also reincarnated? Aqua. Does he actually exist in this realm? Oh shit! So this is what happens when you don't take Aqua as the thing that you can bring to this world, right? He probably chose some really ridiculous sword. Yeah, this sword. <laughs> this is the path that Kazma could have taken, but he took that shitty a goddess. Wow. But he actually does exist in this world, though? Maybe they'll meet. Is he in the same village? Oh shit! Wow, Kyoya has an entire harem. Well, it's only two girls, but still, that's. Well, Kazuma has four girls. Wait, three girls. Damn, he takes his job so seriously. To her? You mean Aqua? Wait, but she's here with you right now. Oh my god, if they meet. Oh my god. Yo, there's no way they're not gonna meet, right? 
Is she, does she even believe the shit that she says? Like, I, I believe in you. The goddess is in the... She's in the cage though, right? And he recognizes Aqua's voice. This is broken Aqua in a cage, I think. Oh shit, here they go. Here they go. <laughs> Yo, this scenery really looks like... It, it makes Taza look so bad. It looks like some kind of like human trafficking, like a slave, you know? <laughs> Look at the bystander, they're like, what's going on? It totally looks like she's getting sold. It really doesn't help that she's singing like it's her last song. Dude, Kazuma's reputation of being like a sexual assaulter and now like a human trafficker, this guy is... He's killing it, man. She sounds like Bochi right now. Oh, shit. The hero. The actual hero. I'll break you out from this cage! Would she recognize him? Oh, dark? Oh, darkness! When she gets serious, you know? Damn! Aqua, do you recognize him? Yeah, you. Don't you remember? You're a goddess, after all. Did she lose all that, too? <laughs> it's that simple? Really? <laughs> okay. Alright, she's back. I love the fact that the villagers are all watching this still. Hmm. You remember him? <laughs> Who, Megalol? <laughs> oh yeah, that guy, right? He really doesn't remember. Hmm? <laughs> really? He was that forgettable? No, she's acting like... No! No, she's lying. She's lying. No, no. This is that one guy in, like, public. Do you ever have someone that comes, like, introduces himself to you? And you're like, I, we already met? And it's like, oh, this is awkward. Yeah. Honestly, we should have taken the sword. That, look at the sword, man. Look how much work he's putting in. Really? She really meant that when she's saying she's having the most fun she's ever had? What? Yeah. This, this isekai hero is being a little bit of a dick, man. At a horse barn? Yeah. <laughs> what? Give us some money so that we can get out of there then. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And He's lucky. Kazuma's super lucky. He's going to shoot on Kazuma though, right? Well, we're broke, man. Give us some money then for a better place. Probably. Yep. Absolutely. This guy's had it so easy. Kazuma, since episode one, he's been laying down brick and doing manual labor, man. This is bullshit. We should steal his sword. Can we do that? <laughs> what he had to go through? Yeah. I never fought times, though. Come on. No. I don't think the girls would betray Kazuma. No, I don't think they would. I think they have loyalty to Kazuma. Yeah, see? You know, exactly. Typically, you would think that, like, the pretty boy hero like this would be, like, I don't know, so easily wooing everybody over. But it's not like that right now. Our girls knows the truth. Okay, I want to see the explosion. Oof. Out of their own volition. Bye-bye. Bro, go home. What do you want? <laughs> but she's fine with it. She's happy. This guy, like, it's so cringe. God, he is white knighting so hard for a girl that's saying, like, she's fine. A duel? Let's go. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Give us your sword. Oh! Okay. What? The sword? The sword? No shot. Did he steal the sword? Magic sword. Oh, shit! <laughs> I wanted him to do that big move, but he just bopped him! 
Coward? I, hey, it, it was kind of a cheap shot. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It, it was kind of a cheap shot, right? But, hey, I mean, we did it, though. Mm. That's kind of true. They were clearly outmatched. <laughs> embarrassing guy, but really. How about we just sell it, then? Can we just sell it? We need money. <laughs> Dude, he's really just knocked out Cole. Steal their panties. Steal their panties and shut them up. Gender equality. Steal. Oh! <laughs> My man. That hand movement's a little bit dangerous. <laughs> I don't think that was wearing any panties, though. <laughs> the one on the left. Steal it. <laughs> what is this hand movement? Dude, even this hand movement is... <laughs> Giga Chad. Giga Chad. No, not you guys. No. He's actually getting excited. The good reception is boobs, man. They're so... I love it when Aqua's doing that. That's not the first time. Kyoya is the one that broke the cage. Now's the time, Aqua. To the girls. <laughs> They're still scared. This is true, though. We can't, we can't do that. that hey! I mean, if they're gonna start some shit, we're gonna steal their panties, I guess. No, our reputation's already in the gutters. She, she doesn't care, bro. She doesn't care. Oh! Want to be knocked out immediately already? <laughs> the second time! This oh wait, he's already back up. Yeah, give us the money, dude. Oh, easy. No, she's thinking really good. <laughs> she should have she said 600k, actually. Get out of here, dude. No one wants you here. What? You want Aqua that bad? Oh. Can we sell it? Where's the sword? What, Megumin? <laughs> what did we... Did we sell it? What's that money bag? In his pockets. No, 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 no. He has a bag of money in his hand. Did we... No shot. We sold the sword. He's nothing without the sword, though. <laughs> Dude! I was kind of pitying Gazma for not being such like a generic, you know, Isekai hero with these, all these OP weapons like Kyoya does. But right now... I'm pitying Kyoya way more. They, I mean, it's, it's it that big of a secret? Watson not even believe it. Watson just start laughing. Yeah. Let's see. They're going to start laughing, aren't they? They're not going to believe this shit. They're going to start laughing like, you? No way. <laughs> not even an ounce of doubt. So they're like, no, nah, nah, that's a bullshit. No, you're not. Oh. What's happened? Did Dulahan come back? Wh who's at the front gate? I love it whenever she's like, emergency, emergency, in front of the gates. I love that. Oh, he's back! What? what? Is he upset that we didn't go to the castle? Because remember, he invited us over. Yeah. Oh. I'm so lonely! Oh, I'm sorry, Dulahan! Like, we didn't need to, bro. Man, I hope that the Kyoya is a reoccurring character that keeps getting shit on. Because that's actually so funny. Maybe he'll get a sword back. Man, the Dulahan at the end. I told you he'd come back. He's probably like, I've been waiting. I, did, I prepared tea and snacks and you guys didn't show up and I just want friends. I'm so lonely. Watch him say something like that, dude. I love this guy, bro. I actually feel so bad. We completely forgot about him. But we'll see you in the next episode. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video and check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.